Listen to them, the children of the night. What music they make. Those were the words spoken by the titular Count in Bram Stoker's 1897 novel, Dracula, as he was visited by Jonathan Harker in his castle in the Carpathian Mountains, hearing the songs and howls of distant wolves. After Harker helped the Count buy a new estate in London, he sailed off on a ship, leaving an unconscious Harker to be tended to by his three wives. While the Count was on his little getaway in Whitby, a strange illness befalls upon Lucy Westenra, which catches the eye of Professor Abraham Van Helsing, who develops an odd suspicion that she may be under a vampiric force. The book has a unique format. The chapters are divided by diary entries from each character that experiences Dracula's terror, taking on different points of view. There's been speculation that Dracula was inspired by Vlad the Impaler, but there's no concrete evidence to support that theory. The classic film that pioneered the recognizable image and voice of Dracula was once again from Universal in 1931, starring Bela Lugosi as the Count, who was buried in the iconic black cape after he died. Of course, there are many, many other versions, and the famous vampire has also been portrayed by the likes of Christopher Lee, Jack Palance, and Gary Oldman. <laughs>